Hi, I'm Gavin and welcome to Fit Tips. Today we're going to take a look at the T-spine extension. This might be a good movement for you if you find yourself in a hunched over position. We don't want to get stuck into that position because it affects the rib cage, which is going to affect your breathing, your shoulders, your lower back, your neck. There's a lot of things that this can affect. Okay, so we're going to start off on the floor or on the mat. We're going to be face down on the ground. So you're going to start with your palms facing up to the ceiling, thumbs in. Next, going to be in a nice neutral position. We want to pretend that we're nice and long from the crown of the head down to your feet. It's going to stay neutral as we do the movement. From here, we want to keep the stomach on the ground. So we only want articulation to happen through that rib cage area and in the mid back. So from here, here we go. I'm going to pretend I'm nice and long, keeping my legs on the ground. And I'm extending, lifting my chest up, keeping that neck nice and neutral. And I'm going to go as high as I can, I'm holding it for three to five seconds. And I'm slowly coming down. So I'm also pinching my shoulder blades together a little bit, not excessively, but just a little bit. Lifting up, getting some of those mid-back muscles engaged. So I'm going to keep my head in that neutral position. Notice I'm not extending with my neck. And that is the basic movement. So this movement's a lot more challenging than you think. It looks a lot like your cobra stretch. However, with keeping the stomach on the ground, we're keeping it more in the mid-back as opposed to getting into the lower back. So some regressions for you. You can use your hands to actually help peel yourself up off the mat and then slowly come back down. But you want to make sure that you're keeping load in those mid-back muscles. Likewise, you can use your hands to help peel yourself up off the mat when you get to that top section. You can take your hands away and then slowly lower yourself back down. So those are two ways that you can regress this movement. Okay, so that was the T-spine extension. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please contact us with any questions if you have any. Thank you.